Hello my friends and welcome to our blind let's play Jimmy and the Pulsating Mass. My name is Flatless Bird, this is your Soybeans Gaming Channel, and today I am joined by the King of Giant Robots, the one who recommended this game. I believe he calls it one of his favorite games, a Zappa. Now Birdo, you know you can't stay up playing video games with your uncle again. You better get your butt in bed. I'm pretty sure we'll understand what that means shortly. <laughs> But we just completed Shadow Hearts on Aesop's channel. If you haven't seen it, go check him out. Link will be in the description below. And it was good. It was amazing. And one of the things that we've been doing is we've been bouncing back on each other. So I'll play a game, he'll play a game, and then I'll play a game. And the game that he chose was Jimmy and the Pulsating Mask. I know absolutely zero things about this game. I mean, but, for crying out loud, I was calling it Jimmy Neutron because I've never heard of this game. I, I thought you were just trolling me to call it Jimmy Neutron. I just never heard of it. Uh, apparently, okay. this game is about a giant brain that explodes based on the menu. Oh, and we got um, we got uh, two Flowies who are going to mock us the entire time. <laughs> but you, you didn't even read the Steam description of the game. No, I've read zero things. Like, I... Oh. I've, I have no idea what this is about. I, I haven't read the description. I, I have nothing. Very good. And normally when I create a playlist, I'll go and try to find a description, but I usually don't read it and I'll put it into my video description. Uh, mm. But I haven't even made my playlist or anything yet. So like I said, I have zero context. Interesting. Well, with that said, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Yes. A game by Casey Ozimi. Oh, so. Wait, Casey Ozimi effectively did this by himself. Wow. Jimmy and the pulsating mess. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. It's too early to say goodnight. The sun is up. It's day outside. It's too early to say goodnight. I can't sing, sing that along I... with the music. It well, actually goes in tune. Well, it's hard though because you can't sing along with the music because you don't know what the words are yet. True enough. All right, who wants to voice mom? Is that mom? That I will oh, spoil oh. that. You'll find out in like 20 seconds that is mom. Oh, okay. She's singing to a little boy, I guess. Uh, you can voice mom. I'll voice the boy. No, you won't. The boy. Okay, well, I will do a great job of giving all the dots to the boy. How's that? E well done. Excellent. <laughs> Classic uh, silent protagonist then, huh? 90% uh, of the time, yes. All right. Go ahead. Oh, a sleepy boy. I thought you were going to sleep all day. Wouldn't that be a shame? Today's a special day. Do you know why? It's another day I can spend with you. We're going to do lots of fun things today, but first... Better get up or I won't be able to do my legs anymore. been sitting way too long. Better pick up the pace. <laughs> Macy home squirt. <laughs> and there you uh, go. Okay, yeah, we've uh, uh, we did do a um a little test of controls because setting up the controls is very weird. Although I haven't had a chance to look at anything yet. So, status with level 1, 50, 25. Uh, numbers, numbers need context. It's hard to figure out what does what until we, you know, until we see another character. Look at the top of that screen there. 
he get status on Jimmy? Oh, I am eight years old. I like video games, coloring, and mom, dad, Buck, and Uncle Lars. Somehow miss yeah. that. Yeah, and then you check the equipment. Although you might need to go into the there, it automatically goes to the equipment menu. Fires are quick at high velocities. Okay, pretty low velocities, but it's loud. Jimmy only. Jonathan Bear shirt features a titular character from the beloved show Jonathan Bear's Playtime Forest. I have to correct you. It's Jonathan. Jonathan, sorry. Yeah, they they, they make a, an appropriate pun that clears that up. Interest, interestingly enough, though, we also have another equipment thing here called personality. We are empath empathetic right now. I can never yes. say that word, by the way, so bear with me. You can be like others if you know how they feel. Allows use of imagination abilities. Hmm, what could that mean? I have no idea. There's also a difficulty setting. Play the game as a tenant, pray for people to play at leisurely pace. Monsters have reduced sets to give double experience of money. Random encounters less frequent and lose less money when you die. Uh, we are definitely playing on normal. I don't know if that's the default setting or not, but just make it sure. It is the default. Easy mode is effective if you just want to mess around and grind between sessions. Oh yeah, it does make for an easy grind, doesn't it? Because you yep. can change at any time, so you just go to easy mode, kill and extra enemies. Zero penalties. Yeah. Up, you're up, down, left, right. Button checks work. Yep. And then try one of your other buttons there before we go too far. Jimmy feels safe. That that is that is that is. This game is about verbs. That is your first verb. Jimmy thoughts. Huh. I also have a heart for a shirt. That's not a heart. Looks Remember, like what a kind heart. of what kind of shirt is he wearing? Oh, he's wearing a Jonathan shirt. Yeah, Jonathan Bear. Oh, it's a bear. Oh, it's a bear. Oh, okay, I see it now. It's a bear. I see it now. All right. This is your voice. Make it cool. Man, it wouldn't be here if Mom didn't guilt me into it. Don't look at me like that. I'm in the way it's set to this. You should too, punk. That's your big brother. Okay, so it looks like... Oh, you can, um... You can talk to people multiple times. It looks like they just don't say anything different. Right. It's important to know in RPG. Like, you have a game like uh, Legend of Dragoon, where literally everyone says something different the second time, and as ah. you go through the game, like, everyone else then changes what they say. Ah. Well, we'll, 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 we'll get some more verbs later. Do you want Dad, or should I do Dad? Oh, uh, you got Mom, I'll do Dad. All right. Hello, Jimmy. Did you know that polyacrid crystals take several millennia to exasperate? Well, and who knows how long one for this size? But yet, yeah, this one seems to be supported on the newly formed Cloud Bridge. But yep, I'll have to add this to my notes. Let me see here. Let me scrub this down. Add the X, carry the Y, add the T. Oh, with the hypotenuse you... of a square root triangle. Very good. That is, that is Andrew to a T. Very good. Cool. Healing spot? Yep, that's that's a fish head. As abstract as it is, that's a fish head. Looks like, like a from snake. the front. Oh, it could be a snake, but I think it's supposed to be a fish. Go talk to that lump on the floor. Oh, hey Jimbo. Me? Uh, just taking a break. Uh, seemed like good place as any. Hot out today, huh? All right, Snorlax. <laughs> Effectively. What is Slowpoke? Your lucky second prize is a cake! How does that sound? Sounds amazing. <laughs> oh! Before I forget, did your father say anything about the new doghouse? No? Oh, I could surprise for all of us. I've always wanted a dog, but you know how much Buck hates them. And your father's allergic to them, and cats and dust bunnies and pollen shellfish cheater. <laughs> well, most everything, really. Maybe he's on some new medication. But for getting a dog, you better think of a cool name. I think the best name for a dog is... Sparkles. I was thinking Spa. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you think it over. How about that cake? If we get a chance to name the dog, we should name the dog Snoopy. <laughs> you wait right there and I'll get cracking on that cake.
Ooh. Hot out. Oh, honey bear. Aw. It's great animation. I'm so proud of you. Do you already have a dog picked out or can we get one as a family? Oh! I want Sparkles to be a big fluffy one! Well, as much as I enjoy your uh, manipulations, let me job, I'm afraid I uh, don't know what you're talking about. You didn't build a doghouse? Well, I had a dog once. Uh, he, uh, he went to the past, then went to the future, and he shot lasers out of his uh, out of his uh, mouth, and he was pretty powerful. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, wait. What doghouse? You know, I'm allergic to carpentry. The one right outside the front door. Oh? I didn't see it. Oh, I must have been thinking about something. Like that imaginary dog who was in that world. Hmm. Very In the future? And huh? the past? Yeah. It and like... it's going to take you to play some cool games that don't suck? Yeah, it was like this uh, caveman guy who had like a stick. And then he had a rocket launcher by the end. And it was, it was a pretty interesting story I came up with. Word. <laughs> I love how absent many you get sugar kisses. Now how about we head to our room and get ready for some... Adult fun time. That's gross. Ahem. If you'll uh, excuse me. <laughs> Baby, I want you still want to make your uh, cake, but I'm all out of honey. Ew. It's gonna go make but some honey? Actual honey. Normally I don't ask you to do stuff like this, but you're getting stronger lately. I know I can count on you. <laughs> it's true. One day, but Jimmy might be stronger than you. But you're right. The pigs fly. Don't listen to him. He's a grumpy Gus. Maybe the grumpiest Gus I've ever met. Your father and I have had long talks about chicken chickens names to Gus, let me tell you. <laughs> you may need you to be a big boy and get some buddy bee honey from Giant Garden. It's a long journey and it'll be hard sometimes, but I know I can count on you because you're smart and kind and tough. And if things get too hurry, your big brother Buck will be right there to help you out. Ah, screw that. He's like learn to fame for himself, the little chicken boy. Buck, you listen up. Your brother's still growing up. He might be small now, but he's going to work and work and work because that's the kind of person he is. But right now, he needs your help. I'm not going. How about Jimmy helps you clean your room first? You know, like I asked you two weeks ago. And after you left those plates in there for so long that there's that... Hmm... Thing growing in there? Yeah, the dents. Ah, fine. I swear, it's a, uh, it's, it's for a science class. You know, we're doing a science project. <laughs> I thought you'd see things my way. Here, Jimmy, I made you a snack in case you get hungry. Hey, it's an ants on a log. That's a snack? Yes. Eh, what a baby. Complain about eating ants. What a wimp. I know how creaky you get when you're hungry, so Buck, here's a protein pack super food for you. Hey, it's another ants on a walk. Yeah. What? Give me the same thing you gave Chicken Boy over here. Alright. I'll go to the stupid beehive to get some stupid honey from the stupid bees for your stupid little cake. But you better pull your own weight, scrub. All right, hey, you want to check out what that, uh, what that is? Go to items. Learn culinary. So just like Light Giant Dragon, uh, the healing item gives 50% of your max HP. Hmm. Numbers in this game are very matter of fact. Did you read the description? So that way you know what Antonalog is. A healthy sack consisting of celery, peanut butter, and raisins. 
Yep. Huh. I was ants thinking ants on was, a log. I think it was literally like ants on a log. Anyway, that would be silly. I know. That's what I'm saying. All right. Here All right. you go. So we have Buck listens to music that hurts my head. Buck works out and can pick me up with one hand. Uh, so he is the brute force. He's a higher level, so it's hard to compare stats. But already his stats look much more impressive than mine. Oh, are you using your shoulder buttons for that? Yes. Cool. The buttons are set up correctly, as was intended. Sweet. Uh, so once I get to level one, I may be able to better compare stats. But it looks like we are the jack of all trade, and he's the bruiser. I will say nothing until the time comes. Uh, equipment, young buck. So protects your hands when working out, buck only the fingerless glove. And it smells like hard work, kind of sticky, but only the workout clothes. He has two trinkets and two manuals, which is different than ours, because we don't have manuals, whatever That's those correct. are. Uh, he's also Damn. brash, sometimes just can't stop punching. There's a 25% chance of hitting twice when attacking. Okay. A, a free second hit now. Um, One more thing that Buck has that Jimmy doesn't are skills. I didn't realize that. Uh, so, Imagination and Nerd Bash. Utilize your bond to hide your low self-esteem. 150% physical damage. 300% uh, but on a two-turn combo. All six up a half on MP. Attack by 13. Okay, so this is Berserk. Berserk is a buff, right? Yes! Thank you for understanding! <laughs> target is failing. Startle the target for one turn. Startle is fun. We can learn about Startle now or learn about Startle when the game says you can learn about it. Well, I there mean, will be a tutorial. We need to fight an enemy first. Okay. Uh, uh, just give me a sec, Jimbo. Maybe we'll play some games later. I sang the Deer Mint copy of Cyborg Ninja Street Force Brawlers online the other day. So you can't click that, that, on anything, That is an really. open door. Welcome to the kitchen. Doesn't seem like you can click on anything. Um, I, I know because your channel is a story-based gaming channel, there's a lot of environmental lore that can be taken in as you play through the game. Oh man, whose room could this be? Hey, it's hey, an open it's... window. Do you know what that is? Looks like a sound icon. Yes. Now, there are. There's an in-game soundtrack system. Oh. It, 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 it's just a, it is a collectible one of many collectibles one of the lesser collectibles don't worry about that that's creepy that's fine it's fine yeah I'm sure that's fine that, that looks absolutely fine alright um, so would you like me to ding you when there is environmental interactables Sure. Okay, you missed one, but you can't do anything with it. You do not have verbs. Well, you heard mom. Get to work. I'm gonna leave it until you clean my room. That's the deal. You gotta take care of whatever the heck that thing is. I call him Bub. Seems to be growing from something. Do you want to smell it? Not really. Do you want to touch it? Um, not really. You want to lick it? Sure. <laughs> Blech. Blech. Tastes like a gross butt. Uh-oh. It didn't seem to like that. Uh, I should have asked you about that first. What, did you th what do you think will start a battle in this game? Well, it's time to be fresh. I have no idea. Okay. So, Jimmy has attack and guard and items. If you want to skip a turn, you can just press left or right, and you can, like, go back or forward in your command entry. Okay, so I resort to name-calling, and I startled it. Is that, like, yes. a stun? That is a stun. Did, did you see what else popped up after that? What? It said alert. So it's a taunt? Uh, do, uh do you tells want... an off-color joke. Okay, now, it is very important to pay attention to what enemies do. Because what enemies do can be a tell to what they're about to do. 
if it's selling an off-color joke, hey, maybe you don't want to fight it right now. Oh, no. It countered. Ow. You punch it, it hits you back. It had a counter stance. Is Buck on auto? Buck is on auto. Oh, look, his double attack came in handy. Yep. Kind of makes you want to hit him. Yes, so that that is... There you go. Because now he's going to go into a counter stance. Unfortunately, Buck. But it didn't matter. Did counter best. stances don't matter if you die. All right, I need you to give us your, your best dramatic voice. A dramatic reading, if you will. Jimmy imagines himself in school. He Heck doesn't yeah. look like himself today. He looks like a big green gross blob. But he doesn't care. He's happy this way. He's making fart noises by pushing his slime around. The teacher has stopped talking and is staring at him. Jimmy doesn't care. He thinks it's hilarious. The other kids are laughing too. This makes Jimmy really happy. The teacher is asking him to leave for being disruptive. When Jimmy gets up, he rips one for real. Oh man, it is ripe. The room is filled with toxic gas. The children are clamoring for the door. The teacher is screaming and the wallpaper begins to peel. Jimmy belches out a laugh and goes to play outside with his friends, but no one will get near him anymore. Jimmy finds a nice cozy hole in a tree and squeezes inside. Okay, that's the most random thing I think I've ever seen in a video game. Oh, okay, we can now uh -huh. turn into a revolting blob. As a revolting blob, Jimmy can utilize the power of being universally hated to force monsters to fight him. Mm -hmm. He can also squeeze into tight paces that otherwise wouldn't be able to. You've obtained two verbs. Hey, friends! Information guy here! You might be asking yourself, why would Jimmy want to turn into that? Well, let me tell you something, Buster! That there are tons worse things you want to turn into! Like a bug? Or a doorstop! Or a straight hair that falls under your shirt and makes your back itch! That's not important! Let's talk about Jimmy. Jimmy has the power of empathy! Yeah, he's empathetic. This means he can feel the way other things feel, including a poor rolling blob you just walloped. Jimmy can now access the imagination section of the menu. There, you can equip skills that you learn from winning battles and gaining experience. In addition to regular experience points, you'll gain imagination experience for whichever form you finish a battle with. So it incentivizes you to use different forms. Quite. By leveling each of Jimmy's forms, you'll gain abilities that you can equip in the Imagination Menu! Speaking of Secret of Evermore, that kind of does remind me of Secret of Evermore because you like level up weapons and you incentivize to use different weapons to level up those weapons. Mm-hmm. Most of the skill equipment slots can only be used in Jimmy's normal form, but skills equipped with the star slots can be used no matter what Jimmy's transformed into! Okay, so we learn skills by transforming. And then we can use the skills we learn from transforming to other areas. Yes and no. It's more like Final Fantasy V. Okay. Uh, I can you have... That. Yeah, you have skills, but once you've learned that skill, you can carry that over to another form. Gotcha. Eh, shit up, nerd. I'm talking to this guy, not you, Zappa. I know. Jimmy can also use field actions when he's transformed. 
I like to call them verbs. How do you do it? It's easy. Just press the action field button, default A. You can change controls and other options by pressing F1. If you want to transform to a different form, you can just call up the transformation ring, default S, and change into any of Jimmy's forms. Right now, Jimmy only has two different forms, but this is just the start of your adventure. Imagine all the fun things you can be. You'll have a jowl jiggling good time. Jowl jiggling, now that's a good compound adjective. <laughs> My dad used to make fun of me for liking compound adjectives so much, but if we're being candid here, he was a head scratchingly bad father. Truth is, I'm the kind of guy who just loves a good hyphen, and he never accepted that part of me. That's okay. Sometimes you've got to be bullheaded in this rock trapped rear we call life. What about you? Do you like hyphens? Yes, you, the player. Or do you call them dashes? I usually call them dashes, weirdly enough. Hmm. Like, it's weird because. When I'm in a professional mode, like when I'm at my job, whatever, yep. I will call them hyphens. But when I'm playing video games, I usually call them dashes. Because it's faster to say dashes. Maybe. I'm a hyphen kind of guy myself, but I'm not about to fall too for being a dash man. <laughs> oh, hello. Didn't see you there. Do you have any strong opinions on punctuation? What? <laughs> I saw that coming. <laughs> Would you like me to repeat that? No, we're good. He hit him with the one-inch punch. That man is dead on his floor. Oh. You are now revolting butt. Now, ideally, um, your your square button. Is that what happened? You push square and its head hit me. Hold on, I'm looking. Okay, so, so these are our skills are. that we know, and these the, are locked the, based on level. So th those are the skills that you that you can learn as multifaceted jack of all trades, Jimmy. Wow, plus fifty percent defense, permanent. That's really mm -hmm. good. What's so the difference? The, Maybe this will explain it later. But what's the difference between the star and the the not stars? information guy said the on the star on the star ones those will be utilized by any form that you're in no matter what oh and the these non -starred are just... ones are when you're in basic jimmy Got or it. super jimmy once you begin to customize it square okay and now the triangle that brings up your rotation that was my l1 button oh hmm, it does that on mine too Now, toy boxes are treasure chests. This is a universal statement. Oh. And don't touch me, still. You can Say, don't touch me, stuff, dweeb. Swear, if you try to touch myself one more time, I'm gonna hit you in your ooze. Okay, so uh, you uh, have obtained two verbs. You have three verbs total. You have, what's Jimmy thinking? You now have uh, the hit me button, which will force an encounter on the spot. And then you have um, fall through holes. Didn't we see a hole earlier? Uh, or a grate, perhaps? That I recall. Hmm. I'm sure you'll find it. You're skipping the one room. The bathroom? Oh, right. Yeah. You will just automatically fall through grates. Where did you end up? <laughs> All right, game. You got me. You got me. Mom and dad are having adult fun time. Yes. I am profoundly ashamed right now. Jimmy, remember our talk? You're never supposed to interrupt adult fun time. Now your father's all flustered. 
Now, no matter what, people do not acknowledge, unless they are supposed to for some reason, that you're in a uh, non-Jimmy format. Yeah, except they did. No, well, they, they acknowledge you as Jimmy. They didn't acknowledge you as a revolting blob. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. So I don't got to worry about changing back and forth. Right. O only when you need to enact a, a specific verb. It's weird. I saw something poking out of the doghouse, but there's nothing here. Did you? But that's why I did. I didn't see anything. I see. What doghouse? Oh. I'm going to do a lot of snapping. I cannot stop myself from snapping when you go onto the, 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 the map screen. Fancy. Cloudy Hill. Yes. Welcome to Dungeon. This thing is pointing up. D those will point to a dungeon exit. Because, like, that is assuredly the exit right here. You do not have the correct verb. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Look what you did. Did you do that? I, I pressed the button to do the hit me thing, but it said. Hmm. So, how does that work? There, there was a game that did that too. I forgot what game it was, but you press a button to like cancel a combat. Mmm. They have? Yes, you can cancel a combat. You can cancel certain combats. Now, as Jimmy, as... I'm still not as, healed. <laughs> as any character at all, period. You do not learn any skills. A character will have everything that they will have forever all the time. You do not learn anything new by leveling up. You have all of your tools. Sweet, I need to... Oh, we level ah. up. Yeah, the slime leveled up. I forgot to heal. Ah, yes. There you go. So, did you look at your Revolting Blob's actual skills? Yeah, I read them. Okay. You're familiar with all they, what, what all they do? Oh, I'm definitely not familiar, but I'll get familiar. It's an emergency exit. Yep, that's your escape room. That's your smoke bomb. That says, I'm out of this dungeon right now. Notice strange punctuation marks lately? You see a red exclamation point means enemy character is unavoidable. However, if you see a green exclamation mark, the, your level's high enough to avoid the encounter. Just press the cancel button or transformation menu to skip that encounter. Press the confirm button, you'll trigger the fight right away. I forgot what game it is. It was a game that had like exclamation marks and you could hit like a button to skip home. It, it's really the ideal situation. Like if I'm too strong for this area, then I just need to pass through. So Jimmy's been started, but now he has the alert status. Jimmy is now level two. Okay, now we can better compare our characters. Ah, I didn't even move when I got into a combat. You you said hit me. Oh, I didn't realize that. I didn't realize it was like a whistle. Yep, it is. I want to fight right now. So you don't have to run around and put and just wait for an encounter. You can just push button and grind. Okay, now we can better compare. So it seems like one point is a lot in this game. And I, it, it's weird because there's some RPGs that you play where your stats really don't matter that much overall. Because what? getting plus one strength means very little. Uh, because you may have like a thousand strength and then there's some games you play where plus one point matters a lot because the the number of values are low and i noticed that when you go into imagination it says uh, attack up defense or attack neutral defense up magic attack down and so on so yes. your points really do matter in terms of percentages here and then what's above that and it seems like above that it's got a final fantasy 6 magic trait Magicite system mm -hmm. where based on the form I have will increase my stats as I level up. 
So Hermit. as I'm leveling up, I'm getting plus one extra defense because I'm in slime form? No, no, no. You get plus one defense per level of slime. Oh, so it's not like a magicite. Oh. It, it's, 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 it's in the same zone. It's in the same region. They're reading the same book. So basically, I can make myself super strong by like maxing all my monsters. Or right. all my You're imaginations. Right. Yeah, and then on top of that, then you can... You know, you learn and equip your, your various skills to your various situations, you know, however you see fit. Gotcha. So, in terms of Buck here, uh, our attack is 13, his is 20. Uh, our magic attack is the same. We have low agility, partly because we're probably in slime form. So, let me, um... Right. Yep. Watch out. sha, -sha. I've never okay. actually stopped to look at this, but yeah, those numbers do change actively. Okay. Yeah, it was 8, now it's 11. Mm-hmm, his magic so, attack has also changed. So it looks like both of our characters are the same speed. We don't have any mirrors here. Uh, so our character is just a worse version of Buck. For now, yes, quite. Because Buck does everything better than us. Well, Buck is also bigger, stronger, and cooler than you. I mean, even things like magic attack, speed, luck. Yeah, but Buck... We have slightly better magic defense. Buck's magic attack doesn't mean anything. We have slightly higher magic defense. If you look at Buck's skills, nothing, none of his stuff is based on magic attack. There, there are items. Oh, hey, look. I can't talk to him. You, would, you do not have the correct verbs. You ever get startled and find you won't be able to act for that current turn? Silver lining! The next turn you'll be alert and you won't be able to get startled again! Reminds me of Seventh Saga, where you can defend and then attack for extra damage. It's a little, a little additionally, bit weirder. Additionally, every time you get startled in a fight, you'll be alert for a longer time, up to five turns! Also, remember, you're only startled for that current turn, so if you're faster than the enemy, you don't have to worry about being startled. Yeah, because if you're faster and then they startle you, it doesn't matter because right. our, our agility is the same, though. Yeah, and then if uh, if you get startled on turn one, on turn two, you can't be startled. Mm -hmm. You're immune to it, even if they try. Hey, Jimmy! I don't mean to pry, but are you using your transformation, aren't you? Remember, the Revolt and Bob can squeeze into tight spaces. There are lots of times you need to change the different forms in order to find stuff, so make sure to keep an eye out. That's called using your verbs. Two, make sure you look in the imagination menu. Gain permanent stat increase whenever you level up a transformation, so you might want to stay transformed as much as possible. Yeah, I've already learned that. <laughs> yes, but that does not mean do not build the ideal Jimmy. Not there's anything wrong with your normal form, Jimmy. Well, no, what it means is you're better off never being in Jimmy form. That early on, yes. Later because on, as you start to develop, as you start to build your own skill set, you can I mean, start a fight with Jimmy and then end it in whatever form you want. Yeah, but I mean, like, for, for right now, being in right. any other form except a new form doesn't help you level, doesn't help you give you extra points, doesn't give you extra skills. Yep, that's correct. You should have a positive self-image, Jimmy. I'm gonna stop talking now. Alright. Hey, an enemy that didn't startle me. Right? So I assume I can go through this. Yep, you squeeze right through. Green hair guy said he'd give me a knuckle sandwich if I didn't build this wall. I've never had one before, but it sounds pretty tasty. <laughs> but then you gotta figure, if I get a knuckle sandwich for not building a wall, think about how many I'm going to get for actually building it. Hope they're swimming in mustard. <laughs> Mr. Beaver doesn't know what a knuckle sandwich is. Uh, that word doesn't mean what you think it means. He doesn't know what it means at all, does he?
So in regular fights, it's, it, you don't really need to worry about using your skills unless you're trying to just like end it or you have the I go first or the I hit everything for cheap attack. Well, the problem is I don't know enough about this game yet. So I don't know if there's a chance to recover your MP and stuff before like a boss fight or something. You also haven't been to a shop yet. Yeah, so right now I'm just trying to conserve my stuff. Yeah, for sure. I, I'm, I'm making no judgment or insinuating anything. It's like, for now, it's not a bad idea to just mash attack. No. No. Huh? I, I, tell him to I guarded. Oh, then, then null, it, it displays null as opposed to zero. Yeah. You don't have a verb for that area. Bonk. You do have two ants on a log. Yeah, I know. Okay. Well, I don't need it yet. That you, that you did have a form of recovery. You could also just run back home. Hey, slime no. leveled up. Slime goes up. Left is always right. Hey, left is always right. Okay. Do you want to learn about a gimmick now or when the game teaches you? I'll wait for the game to teach me. Okay. It's the, the, the education is not that far off. And it doesn't hurt you right now to scum it out anyway. The toy box is filled with disembodied eyes. You'll catch the next random encounter when they're still asleep. Hmm? Oh, there's also a cloud Sunday. Yep, that's the soundtrack of this area. Didn't mean to do that. Well, they're asleep. Guess what sleep does? It means they can't do anything. It means you and do double damage. And they take extra damage. Yes. Well, I'm used to the triangle button being menu. Mm, and it's yes. not, so I will often probably use a form. And when it, whenever I use that, you, you just know that I'm going to hit a mini button. Walk us down right. level three. Well, for now, that's, you know, that's the, the I want to fight button. But, you know, in other forms, it's not the I want to fight button. <laughs> oh, ah, counter stance. And oh, the thing is, is hit twice. oh, I get it. When he says something, I can't attack. I'm an idiot. It does depend because it's it's a wind up to something else. Oh, hey. I didn't know there. Were, I didn't know um, there were killer clouds in this game. The, the enemies have tells. Like, if they don't do something on one turn and they just, like, it's just flavor text, they're building up to something. A super move, a counter stance, you know, it's the game over button. Hey, it's, hey, it's a red balloon. balloon. Hey, that's a key item. Special items? A light text balloon filled with helium. Uncle Lars can breathe this and talk like a chipmunk. Yep, now you just gotta collect 98 more of them. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, so that's the uh, the collectible in this game? No. Uh, it's a musical reference again. Oh. 99 red balloons. I don't know, I was waiting for a killer clown. Not this early. Way too early for killer clowns. Because Clown of red balloon? Yes, 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 I get it. It took me a second to get it, but it's far too early for Killer Clowns. <laughs> hey, so do we have any phobias that I might need to pre-address before we get too far into the game? I hate cockroaches. There are no cockroaches in this game. Then we're good. How do you feel about uh, cartoonish anthropomorphized regular insects? Um, I'm not a huge fan of spiders, but as long as they're not cockroaches, I should be okay. No cockroaches. I 110% assure you there are zero cockroaches in this game. 
There are bees and spiders. I'm not a huge fan of spiders, but they just creep me out when anything. Right. Well, good. I was actually concerned about that. Like, is are the spiders going to be a problem when they come up? Tomax filled with love. Hit points to guard. Oh, it's also a keepsake. Uh, I, there was this game the called... The other box had something else in it. Yeah, there was this game called uh, Grounded. Have you ever heard of it? I think so. Uh, they're, they're, it, you're like a little miniature guy, so it's sort of like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Um, and there's giant spiders in the game. And they have an arachnophobia setting where you can actually turn down the spider to make it look less and less like a spider to the point where it doesn't look like a spider at all. Oh, that's good. A uh, little cloud that reminds you at home. Keepsake. So it buffs all my stats by one. That's... Yes. That's pretty good. But that goes into your trinket slot. I mean, that's a really good item. Plus one to all stats? Heck yeah. That's that that's a very good long term item when you can't when you can't think of anything else to put on. Or you're Apologizes trying to for being weak. Yep. It's just so and then sometimes enemies just do nothing. So when we level up, unfortunately we don't gain MP if we gain MP. Uh I saw that slime leveled up, not Jimmy. Well, what I'm saying is we have 25 out of 35. Oh, it's hey, yellow balloon. Uh, okay, it's the same. 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 Yeah, I, was, I didn't know if it would be the same. There's a blue oh, balloon look, over there. Some, that's good. Were Getting you able to interact with that 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 muscular frog uh, statue? Yeah, nothing happened. Oh, okay. I just didn't know if it had a description on it or not. I I did see what this guy did, so I'm just gonna guard just to make sure. Oh, that's all. The run and slap. Sometimes it just runs and slap. Oh, was that a crit? Oh, uh, yeah. Flashing numbers is a crit. How do we get down and... Okay, over here. Hey. I like how now, smooth the combat is. Yes. Now, for that guy, we're going to need a Marvelous voice. Do you want to do the Marvelous or the... should I do the Marvelous? Oh, you... Go for it. What a catastrophe! Some angry looking men have blocked the bridge and there's nothing we can do! You need balloons to lift the weight, don't you? What would be saying if it weren't so marvelous? Ho ho ho! I've already concocted a marvelous plan that can't possibly fail! However, I'm afraid I lost an integral part of my plan on the way down here. If you happen to come across three balloons, make sure to bring them here. Yep, saw that one coming. Yep. We're going to lift a four ton weight with three balloons. With the power of imagination. But damn right. It's kind of weird that we still shoot, even hey. though we're a slime. It's it, it's based upon what's equipped. What a catastrophe! Oh. Ho, ho, ho. No, this is good. Yep. Perfect there plan! Hooray! You found them all! I thought I skipped new lines of text there, and I was like, wait a second. But no, I, I had it right. Yeah. Now sit back and watch my marvelous plan go into action! Nice. I thought we would have to find seven balloons, because I was thinking of Roy G. Biv. <laughs> Look at that! Isn't that marvelous? Oh, ho, ho. Away it goes, drifting among the clouds. Can you imagine the marvelous things it will see on its journey? Upward, always upward. That's my philosophy. The marvelous part is my life has gone exactly as planned. <laughs> oh dear. That wasn't supposed to happen. Apparently tiny. No, no, no. Tiny through the, uh, the weight. <laughs> well, best me off. 
This is just a spoil of my marvelous day! Ho ho ho! Smoke bomb! Alright. Oh. You canceled it. it. I know, I hit the wrong button. Did you? Yes. Alright, hey, um, can I advise we go to the right first? I was gonna go back to the house, because don't we need a you... turn? Oh, that's right, we haven't gotten the, the thing yet. We need honey, you right? You can still go home and heal, but hey, just go upward. Go upward. Oh, hey, how about that? Yeah, now that you've cut through, now that you've cleared it, you can just cut through. Well, that's really convenient. Isn't it? Uh, so what did you advise? Let's go to the right real quick. Let's take a peek over that way. Unbreakable bridge. Hmm. You can't go down there yet. You do not have the correct word. Man, that unbreakable bridge sure did break. <laughs> Good point. What could have possibly happened? I got invaded by uh by Magus's army. Oh, okay, okay. Smile? Giant garden. Smile. Giant garden is the goal. But smile is the progress. Hey, it's Mr. Beaver. Have you seen that green hair guy? I might accept my payment. Welcome to town. Oh. That's a crazy picture. That's racy. <laughs> oh, is that? I don't know if Mr. Mr. Beaver was that buff. Oh, oh what, what a awful ruckus! People shaking people? Oh, the whole neighborhood is really taking a nosedive. Looks like I went back on the deal. I asked him for my payment. He just shook me around and told me to get lost. It was not the profession I begged him for, but I guess that's a flaw in my judgment on my part. Poor guy. I can't. I can't go that way. It can't? Well, I guess it's trying to funnel you somewhere. So weird. I know. I never tried going in the other direction. Listen up. This town's now the property of the petty thugs. That means I can shake up whatever I want. Says who? Nobody wants you here. You're just a jerk, and I'm not afraid to say it. Let go of him. Is this why you sometimes say Timmy in our games? No. Okay. That that that's that's a fairly odd parents thing I apparently picked. Up. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought this might have been a hidden reference. Nope. You don't resort to horseplay, do it outside. Wait. I didn't try to stop you. Now that y'all have probably been shaking, it's time to lay down some new rules. Rule number one. This town is no longer named Smile. It's named Trash Town. Okay. Rule number two. Everything you own now belongs to the Petty Thugs. You can keep all this rustic crap, but I need you to send us all your booze and drugs and candy. So all your base belong to us, got it. Yes. Rule number three. It's the most important one. Don't ever help some guy named Jimmy. Hey, what did I ever do to you? In fact, if you ever see Jimmy, you should push him around and stuff. Rule number four. I don't like little punks who stare and don't say anything. I'm not a punk, I'm a little slime. Have you got anything to say about that? Aw, oh, now you've done it. You've got me all riled up. I hope you like getting shaked, kid. Fresh. All right, let's do this. Uh, there's a heal point right outside, so yep. uh, let's now, see. Now, now, you, now it's time, good time to look at your, your skills and your powers. Really take in what they could possibly do for you. Now you doesn't get to do anything. Now, 
toxic sludge, though. He, 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 this game likes status effects. Did you know status effects work in this game? Oh, yeah, you're right. There's a lot Look, of games where they're kind of hit and miss. So, with poison, at the end of every turn, they will... So, Toxic Sludge reads 500% damage over five turns. That means, at the end of every turn, it will take a free hit of Jimmy's power. If Jimmy do eight damage, then it will just do eight damage for free. you around while mocking you. Okay, so he's starting to hurt me pretty bad. Can't Toxic Sludge so, again. Not yet. It's a little, oh, well, you also don't have enough MP for Toxic Sludge. Now you're super guarding. Get that double. Nice. Got him and poison. the poison got him. Poison will kill. It doesn't care. All right. Get dramatic. Jimmy imagines himself in a new leather jacket. It looks cool and he feels like a cool guy. He has lots of friends now and they all wear leather jackets too. Apparently, they bought them from this guy named Guybrush Threepwood, who often sold leather jackets. Now, he's in the back of a truck with them. They're driving down the neighborhood street. It's his turn up to bat. He is excited, and his hands are sweaty from the nerves. They round the corner and pick up speed. Jimmy swings in his back cracks against a mailbox. It clangs to the ground. Junk mail flutters across the yard like snow. Jimmy feels naughty, but everyone else is laughing, so he laughs too. They drive and the wind hitting his face makes him feel free and happy. They stop at a store and knock over a vending machine. Jimmy notices a weak, scrawny kid looking at them. He looks a lot like Jimmy. Jimmy pushes him down and kicks him in his dumb butt. Everyone is around the kid now, kicking him. For a moment, Jimmy feels a dark, black pit in his gut. Everyone around him is laughing. So Jimmy kicks him harder. So basically, we just became the thug. Ugh. Jimmy can now turn to Lolo Vagoon. As Lolo Vagoon, Jimmy can challenge Inner and Arcus to grab things and shake them up. I assume Slime is defense and he's physical attack. Some things can also be pushed and pulled. Welcome to two new verbs. Oh, that man was causing trouble because of you, Jimmy. You said your name, and I look just like him. Oh, wait. I, I thought that was Timmy. My bad. Not, not Jimmy <laughs> didn't do anything wrong. He'll just beat that guy up that was shaking us. Is that right, sis? Um... I like Jimmy, and I don't like being shaked. Sonny. Sonny, that... Oh. Go ahead. That guy would have been here if it weren't for Jimmy. Um, I guess that's true. What? I can't believe you, sis. That guy was a jerk. And you know what? You're all big jerks right now, too. I'm going to go join Jimmy and join his party. That'd be really cool. I'm going to go for a walk. Listen up, Jimmy. I don't know why that guy was after you, and I don't care. But I built this place from the ground up. I had five children here. 
I'm just a little mouse, so I can't stop you. But if you're going to attract dangerous guys like that, I'm afraid we didn't around, ain't around here anymore. Jimmy, you, you know you're not welcome here anymore. I don't mind. Just don't tell my mom. Aww. So you have a new verb. I'm afraid we're all booked up. Yep. No spare rooms. I'm pretty sure okay. there are spare rooms. She just doesn't like me. That too. Ah, ah, your the verb. Oh, that's weird. That's your verb. Yes. No, I mean that the thing came up when it hit Y. Hmm. That's but not now right. it's not. Okay. There's some sort that's of weird button configuration there. All right, let's look at our new character, shall we? Imagination? How was wrong? He's a luck person. So he gains luck per level. Uh, his stats are... He does have a higher attack but less defense. He has lower magic attack. Much lower magic defense. Uh, his agility is neutral and he's very lucky. Yes. Uh, utilize your bond to hide your low self-esteem. Does extra physical. Trio is of retreat. 100% uh, chance to escape. Give a friend a high five to boost your confidence. Wow, a heal. Plus 50%. That is amazing. Yep. Uh, separate enemy from your personal belongings. Being lucky helps. The it is a steel that is luck based. Okay. Uh, come on, just one hand at the blackjack. I'm going to roll. Luck plus 50. And you might be staring at the bottom, but you'll work your way to the top. Enemies give twice as much money. Okay. You're going to love the way um, Grift looks. I guarantee it. Now. Engage your new verb. Oh, try it again. Now, shake him. Chase his claw around your arm. Let him go. So weird. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's how you shake. Now, what's weird, though, is when I hit the X button, mm -hmm. I'll do this. But when uh -huh. I talk to him, sometimes I'll yes. actually talk to him. But huh. the other button always seems to work. Weird. That means that there seems to be a double registration though. Yeah, like I said, the uh the controls of this game are a little bit weird on a control. But I still love to play on controls. Jimmy, I mean, you think I'm pretty? Oh Mr. Cat thinks so too. Maybe you shouldn't. He's a total strong silent type. I can never guess what he's thinking. I mean, like, like you're a mouse and it's a cat. Yeah, it's kind of weird, isn't it? Gray was old and weathered. Jimmy can't make out the inscription. Uh, it does say Zelda is here, or Link lays here, or Erdrick lies here. You Based can... on which Final Fantasy <laughs> 1 you play. You can come back here with a later verb. That's my room. You're not allowed in there. Sail. Oh yeah, you can. Yeah, sail. Heck yeah. You want that first? Can I get you something, Jimmy? All right. So we have our first shop. Shop and numbers go up. Numbers go up. What's interesting is his. This is not. This is not a gun. No. He has it's very not, weird equipment. It, it, he doesn't have to use guns. It just happens that he had a pop gun at the time. So definitely use it as a weapon because of when he visits Jimmy only. It um, increases attack and magic type. What is it over on the right side? You can see it says plus two. What does that mean? Um, it, it plus two in comparison to what he has equipped right now. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Boxing gloves. Those are for Buck. Overalls. Lost Adol. Hey, Teach that's your first, first manual. Well, so Buck can learn this. Well, Buck could equip that, yes. It never hurts to have one of each manual on your person. This is another collectible that I highly recommend. But if you don't have the dollars now, you don't have to get them now. You can't use them just yet. 
Well, I might be able to buy them. I mean, you can take the, the, the first aid manual, but you can only have one. But I'm saying all I need is 10 more, and I'm going to equip. And then resell. Lately, I've been thinking I should find a new place to have shop. I barely get any customers here. And is this really the best place to build my nest? Spa used to be a nice, safe place to live with all these shaking incidents. I just don't know anymore. Okay. Boom. Boom. Yep, and then manuals. That's what manuals mean. Okay. Yep. That skill makes manuals. perfect sense. This is the only way to change what, your, what skills people have. Outfits, that's which is short for equipment. I am two dollars short. Gotta be kidding me. <laughs> okay, then yeah, check out your other houses. Explore. Smile. You want you want to go get that first, don't I you? I want to go get those two bucks. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter. And you are brilliant, and you are loved, and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.